Roadshow is showing from Loudoun County, Virginia. We are currently at the Donna Manor, the house of George C. Marshall and his wife Catherine, one of the many historic sites you can view in Loudoun County. So let's just sit back and enjoy the show and see all the beautiful antiques that people around us have brought. I got the original axe that George Washington used to cut down the cherry tree. Now it's been passed down in my family for generations. My great granddaddy had it, my daddy's great granddaddy had it, my great 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 granddaddy had it. And uh, yeah. you said this was George Washington's? Oh, that was the axe. Well, it's got yeah. a fiberglass well, handle. And I, I know, had but it had to be replaced. Handle. The wood broke and deteriorated. Be, yeah. So it had to be replaced. Yeah, Jersey. so um, basically, I think what you got here is a, uh, a, a an axe. It's an axe that he and cut it, down the cherry tree with. Yeah, it's, it's not worth a cent. Son? Yes, oh. yes, it is. It is a. Tiffany Lamb. Oh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh I knew it. We're all so okay, happy. Now, now, oh. well, well, there's something you should oh, know. I'm okay, so now excited. when I say I'm Tiffany, so... I didn't I didn't say Tiffany like Tiffany with a Y. It's made by Tiffany. It is Tiffany with a double E at the end and not in New York, but in but in Potsdam, New York. It's 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 nice, but it's worth Nothing. Oh, 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 I, I, I mean, oh, zero. It's a fairly nice looking chair. It's uh, got nice lines. It's made from wood, but not during the federal period, which would add value. It's a rocker and not in very good condition either. It just is not. It was made by someone in Pennsylvania who doesn't want any friends. Well, my grandpa said that Marie Antoinette sat in that chair. Holy moly, what a terrible thing. Nothing. You would never get anything for selling this chair. How so. much should I sell it for? Selection of cards. Mm -hmm. You've got your 1991 Eric King, yep. your, your 1992 Brian Barber, yep. a 1990 Terry Steinbeck. And yeah, well, you know, I, I've even got that uh, 1991 Brian Smith. Okay, so... What I'm going to do is to give you an appraisal for the okay. cards individually. Okay. For example, this 1992 Tom Agnosi yeah. card yeah. is valued at zero. What? But then I I'm going to give you the valuation for the whole collection. Altogether, I would say your collection is worth nothing. I am delighted you've brought this lovely vase in here today. This is a mid-century modern, uh, beautiful shape, raku glaze, uh, unfortunately not signed on the bottom, but a stunning example of its type. And I suppose you'd like to know the retail value? Yes. yes? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid the retail value though, however, is, uh, despite the lovely sheen on this pot, uh, zero. <laughs> What about at auction? Oh, for auction? Well, that's <laughs> entirely different. No, at auction, uh, given a well-publicized auction and several people bidding on this object, I think you can expect a sale price of next to nothing. Yes. <laughs> oh, how, about, how about an insurance value? Oh, insurance! Yes, 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 yes. Ah, well, that is entirely different. As you know, most things are insured for about triple their original value, so that makes it a zero. Yes, thank you so much for bringing it in. It's a delightful object. Ah, bon. Um, the dress belonged to my great aunt. <laughs> oh, well, it uh, sure looks like it's been through the ringer. Well, yes, all that happened when she was thrown off the train. She was, as far as I know, a, a woman of ill repute. Oh, so uh, how did it get to you? Well, it was shipped to my grandmother by the sheriff of Carson City, Nevada. Now, how he came by it, no one ever knew that part of the story. Well, this is a true piece of American history, what we have right here. Uh, get rid of it, would you? <laughs> <laughs> a bone? 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Move, yeah. Get, take it off. We got to move on with some other merchandise. You know, this really is a very nice pocket watch. I'm, I'm sort of pleased that you brought this in. Okay. We discovered the year of manufacture was 1904. Oh, is right. And it was made in Waltham, Massachusetts. Uh, how did you come upon this? Where did you get this? Well, my great uncle lost it in a card game. Oh, well, let me more. tell you. Yes. I got it back in the family. Well, it was it a lot of trouble, though. I'm sure it was, and I want to tell you there's a little more trouble to come. This is a dirty watch. It's got yeah. dirt in it, actual sand and grit. If you got it repaired, the value of a watch worth nothing would go to a watch worth $400 to the man or woman who cleaned it and then returned it to you worth the original nothing. Not one red cent. Well, oh, well it's a very nice painting. It uh, does have some uh, condition issues. Mm. I would say that you could take it to a uh, conservator and have it professionally restored. Oh, but of course I won't sell it, you know. It needs to stay in the family. That's probably a good idea. No one else wants it. Oh, well. You know what would have real value to me right now? A plate of ribs and a cold beer. Uh, uh, yes, there it says right there, reproduction. So well, how, does that, how do you account for that? Well, I, over the years I've lost a couple things and then I've replaced them with reproduction, sure, but I, it's, it's all the same. Do you mean to imply that you are from the American Civil War? Well, I thought that was understood. <laughs> Look here, uh, Joker. Uh, I don't know who you think you are, but according to my calculations, that would make you uh, roughly 168 years old. Well, uh, that's right. I uh, celebrated my 168th birthday last Tuesday. Well, did you really? Yeah. That's a beggar's belief, if you don't mind me saying. I mean, do you mind me saying? I mean, my God, man. Why? I mean, the oldest living human right now, as far as I'm aware, is 118 years old in Japan on life support. And well, here you are. <laughs> that's right, here I am. I'm too bad for the fellow on life support. Well, indeed, I'm sorry, but I've got nothing more to say to you. I'm sorry your clothing is, uh, no, it's worthless, I'm sorry. <laughs> what, all, all this is worthless? I've been wearing this around for since 1865. <coughs> well, that accounts for the smell. Aside from that, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I Next. guess I'll <laughs> catch a carriage back to town. A carriage? <laughs> this is dirty pot. That's a filthy vase. I would not even call it a vase. It's a vase. It's a filthy pot. Why? Why you bring? Oh, how oh, 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 Uh, it's a very nice ring. Yes. The band is 14 karat gold. Oh, no. I would give it a value at the high point of zero. Oh, no. Hey, I, I brought this in because I, I thought it was worth something. Uh, yeah, well, uh, uh, what is it? Hey, Marge, get me a Dunkin' regular, will you? Hold on, okay. I don't know, what is it? You know, I gotta tell you, the market for things that are unknown has become, uh, <laughs> how shall we say, uh, a little soft in the past couple of years. What the? Well, yes. Very nice coffee service, probably from about 1930, 35. <laughs> Uh, yeah, my mother told me uh, uh, that this was used by Franklin Delano Roosevelt uh, just before his uh, famous, uh, you know, Day of Infamy speech, you know, for Pearl Harbor. Well, I understand, but it would be very difficult to establish the provenance for something like that. Oh, but you see, I have a photo here of a Franklin Delano Roosevelt with this actual tea set right here. What you got here is a photo of Franklin Delano Roosevelt, that's correct. And it looks like you got a photo of the coffee set, and it looks like you just stuck it on there with some glue or something. 
See, it comes right off. Oh, my God. Okay, well, it looks like we've both been hoodwinked. Yeah, I mean, what are you trying to pull? I mean, this is not something that we, uh, uh, this is not general standard procedure here well, on I, the road I have show. no idea how that happened, of course, but now, but, like, tell me, y'all, what if this photo had been real? What would it be appraised at then? If that photo was proven to be genuine or bona fide, your coffee set would still be worth zero. Zero. That's right, nothing. Nada. Niente. <clears throat> well, it, 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 at one time, these incense burners were very hot. Well, it is brass. Uh, you know, it's not actually from China. It's from Japan. And, well, the market for these incense burners has cooled down a lot. <laughs> what did you pay for it? Well, actually, I traded for it. I traded a bottle of whiskey and two cigars for well, it. Well, I can tell you, in a retail setting, this would sell for diddly squat. <laughs> hmm. Well, that makes me think I wish I had that bottle of whiskey now. Me too. Oh, yes, I'm afraid it's worth nothing. Now, you said that you had it appraised at some earlier time, is that correct? Yeah, but I had it appraised mm -hmm. three years ago. Yes. And the man who did that, he told me that it was worth $6,000. Oh, well, heavens to Betsy, you should have taken that money, my dear, because it is certainly not worth that now. <laughs> but look at it. No, it is. It's quite lovely. It's quite lovely oh, no. and entirely worthless. Nothing. Zero. Zilch. Nada. Nothing. Zero. Yet. Absolute nothing. Absolute. Next. <laughs> nothing. Niente. Sorry. Nihil. Rien du tout. <laughs> we brought this beautiful old rooster with us when we emigrated from Russia. And uh, would you believe it? It's not worth a red cent. I had a great time today at Antiques Roadshow. This has appraised for a million dollars. Carl, I quit! I guess I'm going to go to work on Monday. Hey, Carl, will you take me back? Worthless. But I had a really great time here at the Antiques Roadshow. I hope you enjoyed our show. Next time you travel, add Loudoun County to your list and come to the Donna Manor for a tour. We're open March to December.